What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back. I had a little bit of family stuff this morning that I had to take care of, nothing serious, but stuff I had to get done. So, video's out a little bit late, but I wanted to thank you all for all the support on yesterday's video, much appreciated, and so, here we are. So, right now I need to level up, that's like the biggest thing that needs to happen. Uh, and so that's what we're kind of working on. We're past the point of stuff that I was in, like, the middle of in the beta. Can I smash this? Thank you. We're completing a quest that's a little bit above, like, what I should be completing, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab up. We can kite up all these enemies here. This is, um, kind of a weird area here. There's just a ton of enemies, but I need to level up, and so in order to easily do that, I need to fight as much as I can. There's so many of these enemies. It's actually kind of like mediocre ridiculous to try to fight all of them. Definitely cannot get hit. Usually there's someone here. Um, I'm sure they'll come uh, and help me. But yeah, as you can see, we're fighting level 7 enemies right now, and I'm level 5, so... Clearly, we're a little bit overmatched here, but I should be able to handle it. I just gotta wait. Well, not wait, but I just gotta fight it like this, and then eventually... Usually, there's like a level 8 here. That's been... I, obviously, I haven't farmed this much, but I farmed it for like 10 seconds to see what it was, and then I... Um, then I came back here, and before I started, I, I did a quick little trial run to see what I wanted to do. Uh, but, yeah, there was, like, a level 8 or 9 here every time, uh, that kind of helped me. But as you can see, it is not a quick climb to the, to the level ups here. We're level 5. Decent chunk of the way through, like, we're all the way through what I did in the beta, which is nice. I gotta get used to the buttons. Uh, still not quite used to having to, not being able to cancel a button input. I don't know if I like that or not, but it is something. Uh, the enormous mole crickets, I need, I need an actual, like, other person here to help me with that. See, like, they don't do a whole lot of damage. They do, like, enough damage that I need to be kind of conscious about it, but they don't do, okay, I don't want the giant mole cricket. Okay, well... Guess here we go with the giant. Oh, no, wait, he's gonna run away. Nice. I was gonna say, I don't really. Like, I could fight it. I just don't wanna fight it, I guess, is kinda where we are. This is my best skill for this, is that uh, I slam into the ground, because it takes out. It, it hits so many of them that it's just way too good to not use. Okay, so we're almost to level 6. I need to get to, like, level 8. Obviously, I'm not going to do that all in this video, nor am I going to do this to get all the way to the late. I need to destroy these uh, cricket eggs anyway uh, for a side quest. We're not even doing the main story that I need to do. I need to go and I need to use the mole cricket sap in my inventory, first of all. So, let's go ahead. I just want to use it. Can I use it? There we go. So, the sencha mole cricket clings to your body, so we need to find... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to find a bag, uh, research materials, all sorts of different stuff. I think when we have this on, they won't attack me. But I don't really think it's all that big of a deal if they do attack you. Yeah, like, I don't even think it matters that they're gonna attack me, like, to be honest here. I mean, I know there's, like, a ton of them. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, maybe, maybe not the, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be, I might be tripping. Might be a little bit difficult to complete a lot of this crap without that stuff on. So let's go back to the entrance. I thought it would be <clears throat> kind of easy, but I don't, there's a lot of these enormous mole crickets, which I'm going to help kill this one. Kill the regular mole crickets that are following me. All you have to do is get a hit off on something, and it will count it as a, a kill for you. At least it'll let you loot it. 
Some of them don't. I, it's a little finicky on the experience, as far as I can tell so far. It's a little bit finicky. It's not terribly finicky, but it, but it is. There is a little bit of a finickiness to it. Uh, so I'm gonna put it here, and then let's cycle to it. Okay, so let's go and try to do as much of these quests as we can. I have a bunch. I've been accepting, like, every <clears throat> side quest, so... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that it wants me to do down here. Like, grab old artifacts and smash stuff. Okay, so how many... We need to smash one more, so if we smash this one down here, we should be good. There we go. There's Egg Hunt done. I'm assuming they... Okay, yeah, there's a person there. Combo unlock. There's level 6. Pop the stench. What else do we... We gotta grab one more... Th uh, hold on. There's a level 10 thing over here, which I assume is the artifacts that I need to pick up. Maybe? Okay, maybe not. Well, confused, but that's alright. We'll go get this one up here. We still need to get a bag and research materials, so I don't know... Oh, we have plenty. We have 12. Okay, so what do we got over here? So this is the bag, I think. I was happy to get to level 6 at least. We do need to still keep progressing on the levels. Uh, where the heck... Is this a path over here? Ah, oh, nice. Okay. So we need to go this way. We need to find the research materials, which are right over here, it looks like. Nice. Alright, sweet. So there is... Oh, wait. Right here. Okay, so we got Cosimo. Seems like he hasn't been dead for very long. Okay. Really? You gotta be annoying like that? <clears throat> uh, he's holding a piece of paper with what seems to be a hastily scribbled notes. Uh, the words are hastily written. This is this is it for me. This will be my last entry. The mole crickets were easy to avoid while investigating the crawling labyrinth. I saw people in red masks spreading the piranha fertilizer around. They're intentionally destroying the farm and the Karzakor. I escaped them, but not before receiving a fatal wound. To whoever finds this, please inform Professor Vettino. There's nothing more that I can do. Leora, I'm sorry for being so stubborn. Okay, so we need to explain the situation to Professor Orfina now. <clears throat> I want to get back towards the entrance um, so that we can farm a little bit more. I mean, the qu it seems like in this game this is more like World of Warcraft than it is like Final Fantasy 15, 14 or Black Desert or even PSO2. This seems like it's much more focused on, like, hey, you're this level, fight these enemies, level up so that you can progress to next area. There is, like, a main story, obviously, but it feels like it's very heavily reliant on the fact that you need to, um... Okay, 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 hello, stop, oh my god. There's so many, oh my god, there's so many. Up. Hey buddy, you wanna help me here? Kill these guys. Dark Phoenix, help me! There's so many of them. The big dude is the hard part, like, to be honest. The big dude is the hardest part. Yo. Go. They don't hit too hard, which is the good part, but man, they just kind of, they just overwhelm, but the loot is great. Like, I, I love the fact that we can get, like, a absolute crap ton of loot, which is amazing. Uh, but let's go and talk to Orfina. I believe we have to take kind of a long ride around here, but we should also be able to turn in some other quests, so hopefully we can progress levels, but... I need to find a spot and actually grind up some levels, because at this point... Every area that I go to, there are just people way higher level than me. Not that... Like, these things are level 7. And they're fine. Can I get you all to kite up here? My best skill is the ones where I can get these 
Oh god, I don't have enough. I have to actually attack them. Get my skill points back up. This is my best skill, right here. That's the best thing I got. It does the most damage out of anything I got, and... Okay, these guys... I forgot. These guys hit, like, freaking trucks. They're not very, like... They're not very, like, health high, but they hit, like, freaking trucks. Okay, gotta heat. Oh, God, I put on the wrong thing. Go back to my potions. Go back to my potions. Did it really reset them? Oh, oh, because I put on the stupid stench thing. And I can't even attack them once. Okay, okay. Mistakes were made. We're just gonna skip that for now. But that's my point, is, like, they're level 7. And while they're not, like, overly difficult to fight, they hit me with, like, a truck, and... They, uh, they don't die fairly quickly. So, I mean, they're not, like, overly heavily defended, but they hit, like, freaking trucks. Also, we did unlock fast travel, which is really nice. Um, let's see here. Does it really matter? Increases max, max AP, defense. Uh, don't really think this matters. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really think it matters. Okay. They're plus two, but they're not any better than what I have on. Um, thought I come as the other quest not here. I'll see where it is. Well, I'll do it later. So we'll go ahead and give her this and complete this quest. Find out what we got to do next. Okay, so now recommended gear score is 116. I believe my gear score is like 110. Uh, no, it's 83. So this is the part. So this is where we get to the point of you need to actually okay but i do have better stuff on that i can put on so we'll see Ooh, nice okay so we have better boots there that are 14 gear score we're almost to we're almost to the gear score that wants us to be at um i got 108 it wants me to be 114. uh so let's use the soul pyre Sit and share food. Um, okay, so... Is there... <clears throat> is there a blacksmith here? Equipment... Enchanter's wheel... General goods... Alchemy... Uh, okay, so let's go back. Let's go back and we'll upgrade our weapon. See if we can upgrade our weapon a little bit here. I think this is... I think the amphitheater has what we need. Um, if not, then I'm an idiot. But I think the amphitheater has a blacksmith. And so we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade our... What am I trying to say? We'll upgrade our weapon here. And then we'll see if that's good enough to go for uh, the next area. I need to upgrade my weapon. The, the health... I'm pretty good at managing my health. Just to make sure that I don't get murdered. I, I, I became good at it with Black Desert. So I keep an eye on my health probably more than I have to or should. But um, the way I play Black Desert is a little bit more different. So I uh, do. I don't want the forge. We want to go over here to the Equipment Master Specialist. Uh, fortification is available, so nice. Uh, is this just money at this point for it? If it's just money, th yeah, there's no, like, materials that I have to spend. Okay, sweet. So let's upgrade. Let's get this to... Okay, so we need a equipment fortification, so that'll get that to there. Um, do I not have... Unable to enhance due to... Oh, I need a weapon fortification stone, okay. Um, is there any, I'm trying to see, doesn't look like on my secondary weapon there's any real difference. I'm going to go with this one. It's D-rated. I'm going to go with it. I feel like we have to upgrade something, so I feel like it's a little lazy that I just hadn't upgraded anything. So we're going to get these things upgraded. 
I don't want to upgrade that past that. That's fine. But 58, that should be a massive increase to our thing. Uh, so we can equip that. So now we have a 150 gear score. So the recommended gear score was like really not a whole lot. Um, and so it was like 112 or 114 or something like that. Let's go ahead and do the little side thing here. We have 50 minutes. What is happening here? Oh yeah, this is like the... I like how I can just show up to this and steal loot. The treasure shabiki. I forgot all about the treasure shabiki. I got a lock on because I can't even see it. What are the odds that, you know, I just show up to the treasure shabiki? It looks like I unlocked a new combo. Um, would be the blink strike, which was one of my favorite strikes in the tutorial. I don't even see him anymore, but... I feel like I helped contribute a decent amount to the, the killing of the Shibiki. Even if I haven't picked up, like, any loot for it, but... I think the reward is really when you kill it. I know there's, like, gold and shit everywhere, but I, I think the real reward is when you kill it, if I remember from the beta currently. Okay, so there we go. It's dead. Yeah, it gives you an armor and a weapon fortification stone, so yeah. Definitely worth it more than the cash. Like, the cash is great. But, overall, the... What the... Hello? Oh my gosh, is there another one? Wait, wait, is there just like unlimited treasure shabikis here? Like, what is this? This is kind of okay. It's kind of insane. I'm just gonna grab some of the gold here. Not that I don't want to help, but I do want a little bit of the gold, and I didn't collect like any of it before. Come back here, Treasure Shabiki. I, I want the ultimate reward for killing you. Which means I could probably upgrade my staff more, which that's probably a good idea. Well, if this tre if the Treasure Shabiki spawns here again, we might just be farming Treasure Shabikis for the remainder of this episode. I need to pick up. I have a fair amount of gold, but we need to pick up more. I'm actually really excited for when this goes free to play to see how many people um, there are playing it. I want to get far enough away from like the beginning that I'm not like clustered with a bunch of people that just started. So, gonna be playing this a fair amount. I haven't even touched Black Desert in the last like I didn't touch Black Desert yesterday. I didn't touch Black Desert today. So, gotta don't know what I want to do. With, <laughs> gotta decide what I want to do with Black Desert. But um, yeah. Expect a video, like, every day for this. Especially if, like, cool stuff like this happens. I'm definitely gonna, like, do it. If, if, if there's just, like, an unlimited Shibiki spawn here, we're just gonna keep farming it. Especially, I think it gives me some decent experience. We'll see here. The Shibiki's about to die. Got 1%. Did it die? Can't even tell if it died. It got, I, I got, like, a few thousand experience. I think. I think that's actually kind of worth it. If another Shibiki spawns... If another treasure Shibiki spawns, then we are staying here. The real reason I came here is to kill bandits at the amphitheater, but it looks like... Okay, it looks like we got a double spawn of Shibikis. Okay, here's more. Um, I need bandits. Are you considered a bandit? A nimble cut purse? What the hell is a nimble cut purse? You are considered a bandit. Nice. Okay. Come here, scouting thief. Stop running. Hey. Yo, come here. What? Where are you going? Hey. Go. Is that guy level 13? Bro, what are you doing here as a level 13? He really is a level 13. Kind of spooked. Like, what are you doing here? I don't know if this dude counts as a bandit, but we're gonna fight him anyway. 
Man, upgrading my weapon makes me feel like one powerful dude. I feel like way powerful than I did like 10 minutes ago. So I'm really happy that, uh... Okay, I don't know why. Okay, so we're at four out of eight. Let's go back down into the amphitheater. Let's do a lap, see if we can find the bandits. I might as well complete this quest, we're here. So there's this dude, there's a two nimble cut purses. Oh yeah, we got this completed. Why is this not hitting him? Hello? Okay, this dude's just invincible, bro. Fine, nimble cut purse, come here. I don't know why that dude was just like, invincible. I really like that this game isn't like Black Desert, where it's like, oh, you cooperatively killed a guy? Well, it's only counted for the person who hit him first, and then actually participated in the kill. So that that that's one of the things in Black Desert that annoyed me, because people could just, like, absolutely cuck you when you're trying to kill enemies. Like, when you have to kill a set amount of enemies, nothing is worse than getting, like, cucked by some random dude. Mine. I do like that mining and stuff gives you XP. Is it bad that I don't actually know? I don't even remember. Okay, Y is jump. I was gonna say, is it bad that I don't even remember what jump is? It's just weird. I'm not used to Y being the jump button. Hello, jump. There we go. Loot. We need one more kill. And we'll have this completed. Go with the blink strike. Yeah, missed the blink strike. Okay, so let's get on out of here. So we got a skill point gained. I haven't been using my skill points yet. I will eventually here, but where are you running? Okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. How about you come over here with your friend? I want to know, how much damage does this do now? Ooh, 798. That is... That is really good. Okay, they actually give some decent experience. I'm actually, like, kind of leveling up off of these guys. I'd love to get to, like... I don't know. I feel like I'm so underleveled. It, it might just be, like... Um... A matter of like I see dudes that are higher level and like they don't need to be that level but it makes me in my head think that I need to be that level I feel like I don't know that if that makes any sense I kind of didn't make sense when I said it out loud but yeah okay should be able to upgrade again enhance my s oh yeah oh yeah we should be able to enhance this one more time nice okay so we have it at plus two which is very nice did not get an equipment upgrade stone, but this should be very nice now. How much damage does it do now? 69. So it has a gear score of 69. 459 attack. Yeah, this should be premium prime quality uh, item. So let's go ahead and interact with this merchant real quick. Um, I need to get more potions of recovery. Uh, I guess I'll take 15. I need to sell. We got some extra uh, cool. secondary weapons. We can sell this. I should probably compare, make sure. Oh, it tells me. Okay, so all of these are worse. Well, that's equal, but it's worse. Sell that, sell that. Okay, so that pretty much paid for my potions, essentially. A little bit less than paid for my potions, but... Let's go ahead and take a look at this holy hat. So they're both 115. This is... Reduces Frost Nova mana co Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but this increases EXP. I don't want to lose bonus XP. Even if it's just 1.5%, I don't really want to lose that. So, yeah, we're just going to leave that. I'm going to keep this hat for now, but we're just going to leave that for for this point in time. Um, I think I think this is a good point to call it an episode. We did a fair amount in this episode. Um, I'm just going to do... This is just how the episodes are going to flow for Bless Unleashed. We're just going to have 
different episodes revolving around all sorts of different stuff. Um, when I feel like I want to record, we'll record. When I feel like there's something important to record, I'll record. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to try to progress through the game. Obviously, it slows things down a literal crap ton if I record everything I do. Like, if I recorded everything I just did to get to this point, we would be at, like, episode 10 or 11. And it just is, like, we're level 5. We're level 6. Like, really? It's, it's just not... It's just not feasible to record everything and have it be, like, good. I might eventually do, like, record everything and just upload it, but at this point, I feel like I... It's what got me so far behind in Black Desert, so I don't want to do that. So, point is, is that we are, uh... Yeah, we are doing, we're doing it like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll try to bring as much different stuff. Um, I won't try to go too far without recording or have a video too close. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll stop blabbling on. I just always like to inform you guys at the end of these videos, talk about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.